What's up YouTube? Today I'm coming at you with a video talking about the New Balance Beacon V1 Fresh Foam. And I have just over 11 miles on these shoes. I got them, I think, three days ago. And this is my first impression. Guys, I really like these. I would recommend them. There's a new model out called the New Balance Fresh Foam Beacon uh, V2. And I think both of them retail for about $110 US. But um, it's kind of hard to find the, the new V2s on sale. And these are the V1s and I went on Amazon. And guys, uh, it totally depends on the size, but this is nine and a half two e, so nine and a half wide, and it cost me, uh, I think, sixty five or sixty eight dollars, and for shipping and everything tax, I think the whole cost was like sixty eight dollars for these shoes, and for a daily trainer, uh, a fast daily trainer, and they're lightweight. It is a great running shoe in my opinion. Um, yeah, I've ran them the past three days. Um, uh, I ran in them today for just over five miles at a seven, just under a 730 pace. And they felt good. It's not like the, um, rebound that you get from something like a Carbon X or 4% with a, a shoe with a carbon plate. But you really have that feel of the ground on your feet and they seem to have like traction that the, the that my Hoka Carbon X doesn't have and the underfoot feel and I just feel like I can just grind on the road or the trail or gravel or whatever. Today I went through a lot of different terrains and everything felt good. Um, yeah, just that, that cushion. Um, I didn't have any pains on my foot. Um, the the only negative that I have, I want to say this negative. Um, actually, yeah, let me point at it right here, where my ankle, my ankle is like right here on the shoe. This part right here under my ankle, it's a little bit high here, and whenever I got it. I was really afraid that I have to return them because this was rubbing my ankle and just going to a restaurant and sitting down and stuff with them, uh, I was really noticing that and it was really like annoying me, bothering me, like it wasn't really a pain, it was just annoying me that that was there and I was like why does this have to happen? And also another uh, take back um, bad about this shoe. like. And never, and uh, yeah, this heel right here, like most shoes and the V2, it, it comes up a lot higher in the heel for more uh, support on your Achilles tendon. And I really thought that would be an issue, um, just trying out, trying on the shoe for the first time. But let me tell you, once I ru started running, once I passed the one mile mark in the run, I completely forgot about this issue with my ankle, and then I completely, like, this was never an issue with the heel. Um, people have their doubts about that, but guys, I would really recommend this shoe. Um, I think it's the best daily trainer I've had, and they're, they're fairly lightweight too. Um, I'm not sure the weight, but if you want uh, a good daily trainer, um, and there's no wear or tear on the bottom of these, and I've went through uh, multiple different terrains, road, gravel, and dirt, and like none of, I mean, I'm only 11 miles in, you wouldn't expect to see anything, unless it was like a 4% or something like that, but um, yeah, they're holding up really well. Uh, they feel great, and this just seems to have the perfect width for my foot. Um, they, I, I think they're supposed to run a little bit wide automatically, so if you have a narrow foot, like, 
uh, you you won't need a wide, obviously. Like, but I have a wide foot. That's why I have wide. They don't run narrow, but they're just they're true to size. Um, my left foot's a little bit smaller than my right foot. I could have gone for a ten wide on the right and a nine and a half wide on the left. Um, they might run a little bit small in the length, but width great and. Uh, this fresh foam, you know, it sounds kind of gimmicky, but under your foot, it, it's, um, it's a really great ride. And I've never had a New Balance running shoe in the past, and I've heard like a lot of bad things like in the past couple years about New Balance running shoes, so I've never wanted to try them, but I've heard a lot about this shoe. And I ordered it from Roadrunner Sports. No, I mean, sorry, <laughs> Amazon for that $68. And it is definitely worth that price. I would get it any day. Um, I'm sure whenever these are worn out, there will be like uh, a few new um, versions of the shoe. But I could see myself in two years buying this same shoe again just because it's a shoe that you can just run in for long miles and it, you just want to keep running in it in it and like it's just like you and what's under you and like you just feel it and the ride is like feels almost better than any other shoe that I've tried and um, let me talk about whether this is a training, racing, or what what to use this shoe for. I think you can use it for anything. Um, it has a lot more, like, not lugs, but, like, grip on the bottom of the shoe, on the outsole, um, compared to my Carbon X. I mean, yeah, my yeah, Carbon X from Hoka. Um... I would definitely wear the Carbon X's for um, a road race, um, probably, like, I've never done a marathon, and I don't know when I will, but, like, my next half marathon, I'm definitely going to go with the Carbon X's, as, as far as I know. I love the Carbon X's for track workout, workouts, but the New Balance, I ran in them in a track workout, and they felt... They felt really good. Um, they, like I said, they don't have that sp as much springy sensation as some of these um, uh, racing road shoes have. But you can do this on like any type of terrain, unless like I I don't think I'd wear this for like a mountain a mountain race, like some crazy rocks and stuff. It doesn't have a rock plate or anything like that. It's, I'd say, a road, gravel, and, like, grass, mud, shoe. Um, great for the cross-country season. Just starting, and, guys, if, if you don't have your running shoes for this cross-country season, I would definitely recommend picking this shoe up. It's an affordable option, and, uh, yeah, there's about... Like, this is one of the best daily trainers for a high school track athlete or a college track athlete or, yeah, even a middle school athlete. Like, I think everyone needs one of these in their quiver. Um, oh, yeah, there's one more negative. Um, the insole of the shoe, it seems like it's almost bigger than the actual shoe or something because in the, in the back of it, back here... Um, it seems to bun bunch together, that insole in the back. It didn't bother me, like, as far as pain. Um, it was also just, like, kind of annoying, but, you know, after a couple miles, you just, you don't even feel it. You don't think about it. You forget it's there. So, guys, um, I would buy this shoe if you're thinking about it. Um... Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, 
this shoe is a uh, 9 out of 10 for me. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.